Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I want to show you how to move from your old iPhone to your new iPhone 13 mini or iPhone 13 or iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max. Whatever you have, if you have an iPhone 13, I'm going to show you how to move all your data from your old iPhone, in this case I have an iPhone 12, to your new iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that there are different ways to do this backup. The first method I'm going to show you is with the iCloud backup, right? You just go to settings, you're going to click on your profile, and here you're going to click on iCloud, and here you can do an iCloud backup. You can see that the iCloud backup is on, and if you want to back it up now, you can click here and it's going to back it up. You can see here when was the last time it was backup. It says successfully backup yesterday at 7 a.m. So there's new data. So what I recommend you to do is doing a backup right now. And then on your new device, what you're going to do is you're going to sign into your iCloud account and you're going to retrieve that backup. And that should work fine. I want to tell you that Apple has this new feature that even if you don't have enough space on your iCloud backup, Apple is going to allow you to put, I don't know, 100 gigs of storage. You know that Apple only gives you 5 gigs of storage, right? On this new iPhone 13, Apple is giving you the chance to upload more than that for, you know, for a month until you do the backup. Another way to do this is backing up your whole phone on the computer. You need a lighting cable to USB-C or USB-A, whatever you have. And you're going to connect the phone. And look what's going to happen here. But once you connect the phone to the computer, you're going to have this. You select here the iPhone. Here you have all the information of the iPhone. So here you're going to click backup now and you're going to save a file on your computer. And then you go to your new phone. You're going to connect your new phone to the computer and you're going to retrieve that backup that is on the computer, on the hard drive on the computer. That's a safe and fast way to do the backup also, you know? The only problem is that you need a computer with enough space. This iPhone is 119 gigs of data, so I need at least 119. Remember, these old MacBooks, they only have 128 gigs of storage. So that's the second way. The third way, the easiest way to do it is wirelessly using your Wi-Fi. So you connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi. And if the new phone is close to a, an old phone with an iCloud account, look what's going to happen. Right there. It says set up new iPhone. The new iPhone recognizes the old iPhone with an iCloud account. And it asks you if you want to continue doing the transfer. You just press continue and then you're going to go through the whole process. And you're going to be able to transfer everything from your old iPhone 12 to the new iPhone 13. This is the easiest and the best way to do it. But today I want to show you a way with a cable. Some people like it with a cable and also not a lot of people do it with a cable. So with a cable, it's going to work the same way like this, but you're going to have a cable connecting both devices. So let me show you that cable. And the adapter that you're going to need is called lighting to USB 3 camera adapter, a USB-A and a lighting connection. All right. Here, you're going to connect the source. That means the iPhone with the data. You connected the iPhone with the data. And then you're going to need a cable like this. That Everybody has this cable around. And this is the USB-A to lighting right there. Okay. And then you're going to connect the other lighting to the new iPhone. Like that. Okay. So let me show you that setup. In theory, this setup should work like this normally, but some people has a lot of data and this might take a while. So Apple recommend you to plug an extra cable here for power. I have this lighting cable connected to the power. So look, that same cable is powering both devices. Okay. So I have the cable. So I'm pretty much set up and we're going to continue and we're going to continue in the same way. We're going to go up and chances are, yeah, this is going to pop up. All right. So the same thing is going to pop up, but now we have the cable. So we're going to click continue. And then we have this hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So this is the old iPhone. This is the new iPhone. And we need to read this code with the old iPhone. Put it in on top. Right there. And now it says finish on new iPhone. Okay. The first thing it's going to ask me is the passcode of the old iPhone. All right. So we're going to put it here. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And then it's going to ask me to configure Face ID. I'm just going to skip this. Set up later. Okay. And now look at this. It says transfer your data, right? Download from iCloud or transfer from iPhone. Transfer directly so this phone will be ready with your data when you finish setting up. And if you see the graphics here, you can see an animation going from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. And you can see that it's moving. All right. So this is a confirmation that we're going to do the wire transfer because we're using a wire. All right. All right. So we're going to select this one and let's see what happened here, though. 
boom setting up your apple id so this one is going to keep on finish on new iphone all right so now we need to accept the terms and conditions agree make this your new iphone here's everything set up as you had it on your other iphone ups and data settings connections and i have my apple watch also so i'm going to continue or right, let's say what, what happens if i click customize settings continue location services disable apple pay continue this is all my credit cards that i'm gonna blur later Apple Watch continue. Siri, I will set setup later. Screen time later. Analytics don't share. And look at this, guys. So it's moving there. Transferring data to iPhone 13 Pro Max. Time remaining 58 minutes. And this is because I have around 120 gigabytes of storage on my old iPhone that we're moving to the new one. That's why it's going to take an hour. So I'll be back. And we're almost ready, guys. Look at this. Six minutes. Seven minutes here and six minutes here. So... I think Apple should allow people to configure the brightness of the new devices. That's something that you cannot do when you're configured the phone. It's not a set. Look at this. Transfer complete. That was good that I was able to, to record that. Transfer complete. And something happened on the, on the right phone. I don't know what's happened there. Oh, look at this. Looks like we are setting up the new iPhone now. This might take a little bit. So here it says transfer complete and here you have the iPhone set up. So we're gonna wipe up. Now you know that the passcode is the same passcode as the old iPhone. Restore completed. So this is what you want to see guys. Restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. Continue. Agree. Restore completed. Improve Siri and dictation. Not now. I don't want to share my audio recordings. Not now. Welcome to iPhone. And that's it guys this is exactly a copy look at this you can see that all the apps are downloading on my new iphone and that's going to take a while your apple id and phone number are now being used for imessage and facetime on a new iphone if you recently signed into iphone you can ignore this notification okay so it says erase this iphone right erasing will sign out of your apple id and remove your personal data so this iphone can be safely traded in or given away the following items will be safely removed from this iphone apps and data 125 gigs of data apple id find my activation lock apple wallet and cellular plan this is the thing guys i want to make sure that i have all my data here so once i make sure that i have everything set up correctly on my new iphone then i will delete this iphone all right but in the meantime i will just say not now and you can see that this is an exact clone of my previous iphone 12 on the iphone 13. since both iphones has the same icloud account if you delete a picture here it's going to be deleted here too so that's why apple recommends to restore this phone so you can forget about this phone and nothing's gonna happen on the new one. If you keep both accounts on the same iPhone, whatever happens here is gonna happen here, you know, in terms of deleting pictures or adding pictures also, you know? So one more thing, guys. I decided that I'm gonna keep uh, using both devices with my Apple ID until I get a case for this iPhone because I don't wanna break it. And I'm gonna get the case on Monday. So during those days, I'm gonna have the device and I just wanna let you know this, for example. What happened if I take a picture right now? I took a picture, right? What happened if I go to my photos here? And look, it says uploading item, uploading item, right? So as soon as it finish here, it's gonna upload it here. I thought it was gonna do that. Yeah, right there, you see? So now we have the same picture because both phones has the same iCloud account. So every time I take a picture here, it's gonna appear here. Now, what happened if I delete a picture from here? It's also gonna delete here though, I believe. Right there, you see, it's gone. Another thing, uh, some of the apps on the new phone, you're going to have to log in again. For example, Snapchat, you're going to have to log in again. Especially financial apps, you're going to have to log in again. On the wallet, you're going to have to verify your cards again. Actually, also the Apple Watch, you're going to have to pair it to the new one. But I'm not going to do that now because I'm still using this phone. I'm using both devices right now until Monday. And that concludes this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. That's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.